master criminal whose real identity is a secret even to his own men, has begun an organized attack on major industries in an attempt to seize the lifelines of the nation. Known only as the octopus, this cruel, ruthless leader has sent his forces against law and order without apparent fear, not hesitating to kill or destroy anything that blocked his path. Combating the reign of terror that followed in the wake of the octopus, Police Commissioner Kirk enlisted the services of Richard Wentworth, famous criminologist. Into this conflict entered the spider, a mysterious masked Robin Hood created by Richard Wentworth to strike terror into the underworld. Only the members of his own household know that the spider is in reality Wentworth. Although always on the side of justice, the spider has at times been made to appear guilty of the very crimes he was trying to prevent. As a result, the spider stands accused by law as a dangerous criminal, and the police headed by Commissioner Kirk are constantly on the hunt for him. In his most recent contact with the forces of the octopus, Richard Wentworth was caught off his guard and made a prisoner. Taken to one of the gang's hideouts to await execution, he learned that the octopus was planning to dynamite a big bus terminal, an act of terrorization that would cost the lives of hundreds of innocent people. Making his escape, Wentworth donned the costume of the spider and went into action. as you're sure no one is following us. about that terminal job, sir. explosion, two unidentified men killed by gunshots. The spider was seen leaving the building one minute after the explosion, escaped in the traffic, followed by car 27, car 27. No report from car 27. That is all. The spider again. I'll get him if it's the last thing I ever do. Yes, Kirk speaking. What's that? The spider. Have this call traced quick. I'll try to hold him. Uh, hello. Who did you say you were? Don't stall, Kirk. You heard me. I just wanted to give you a tip on the terminal job. You ought to know, Mr. Spider. You were there. Right. And if I hadn't been, you'd have half a hundred citizens in the morgue instead of a few gunmen. Now listen, Kirk. I'm in a hurry. That gang has a hideout at 722 Center Street, the old Gallagher place. You'd better look it over. Have a squad car ready for me at once. Men with riot guns. Well, you can't trace the call. It was tapped in. Stand by here till I get back. 
Well, Warrior, the spider now becomes Richard Wentworth again. Now, men, don't take any chances. Kirk! What? What the devil are you doing here? Now, don't get excited, Kirk. This is my second visit to this crook's hangout tonight. The first time I came as a prisoner. Prisoner? Yes. I've got something to tell you. What was with the bulls? We better scram. If we got our orders, the plan goes as set. Can you tell me where they had the bus driver? I can make a good try at it. Come on. Yes, but I think I got him in time. I, I, I'm all right now, boys. I... Thanks. Oh, forget it. Come on, let's get him out of here. In my opinion, Commissioner, your police are not making any progress. And I think these gentlemen agree with me. We're faced with a difficult problem. I had hoped that with the assistance of Richard Wentworth... And so had I. And what has he done? Why isn't he here now? Wentworth promised to be here at 3 o'clock. And I always keep my word, gentlemen. Oh, hello, Wentworth. How do you do? Do you any news? Well, what have you done? Can you tell us who's responsible for these atrocities? Not yet. But I believe their latest move has opened up a line of attack for us. Or perhaps you noticed this item in the paper this morning. Listen. J.R. Adams, appointed head of Roberts Bus Lines. The appointment to fill the place occupied by Alan Roberts, recently found murdered, caused considerable surprise, as Adams seems to be unknown in transportation circles. Unknown in transportation circles but probably not unknown to the madman responsible for the murder of Alan Roberts. I'm already working on the Adams lead. Now, if you gentlemen will allow me to speak to the commissioner, we'll keep you informed of our progress. Certainly, sir. See you later, commissioner. Goodbye. What did you learn? I cut in on Adams' private wire. There is to be a meeting at his office tonight. Nice work. I'll have a squad ready to raid. No, no, not that. This criminal is too smart to be caught in a trap like that. But uh, I intend to see and hear everything that goes on in that office. I have good reason to believe that Wentworth will make a move against Adams tonight, either alone or with the police. Adams' office will be a most excellent place to carry out my plan. This is it. Here, phone. Now get the equipment out of the car and set it up in the basement. Yeah, Adam's office. Hey, what is this? Hello? Telephone company, testing. Yes, all right, we have some men in the building. We'll take care of your trouble at once. Right? Right. 
We're from the telephone company. Got any trouble on your line, Mr. I'll say there is. Nearly knocked my head off a few minutes ago. Yeah, fix it in a minute. Mr. Bill, you better check that service line over there. Right. Set ready? Ready and willing. Did you place the little receiver? Right in Mr. Adams' bookcase. Everything ring? Yes, sir. Light. They should be there by now. Turn it on. Now the sound. It'll take a moment for it to warm up, Chief. Good work, Jackson. It's clear as crystal. I, uh... What's our next move, Adams? I don't know, Martin. I got my orders to be here like the rest of you. The octopus said he'd speak to us at 9 o'clock. It's about 9 now. Attention. The octopus speaks. My plans to seize control of certain key industries are progressing. But we must stop the interference of Richard Wentworth. To accomplish this, I am sending you a hostage. Your prisoner, gentlemen. Allow me to introduce Miss Nita and Sloan. Nita! The fiends of darkness, let me... No, no. You stay here. Jackson, come with me. The octopus is right. I'll step into that trap. But not as Wentworth. The spider strikes again? Right. Come on. might mean death for Nita. My attack must be a complete surprise. The very entrance is guarded. Not that one, the hoist. Do what you're told and you won't be hurt. Tie him up. Hurry, Jackson, throw that switch. I'll stick with you with my handkerchief. Come on, take me up. Touches a doorknob, he'll be annihilated. Train your guns on the door. You then cover the girl.
over that vault. It'll hold you in a minute until I get back. I can't touch it. It's wired. Throw that switch. Turn off the power. Now get in that vault. All of it. Come on, step on it. You will see Richard Wentworth as Blinky McQuaid working his way into the underworld in an attempt to gain inside information. The octopus, always aware of what is going on, sends his men after the spider. Richard Wentworth as the spider trying to avoid a trap set by the madman known as the octopus plunges to certain death. Will he escape?